Hello and welcome back to my video. In this video we want to speak about the Docker and how we basically can set a PHP environment up from scratch. And I will use the Docker Compose file and yeah then we will create a gateway and the FPM uh, container with Docker. So let's begin. The first we want to do is uh, create the two folder. The first folder we call source and the second one we want to call docker inside docker we will create two folders more and the one we will call nginx and the second we want to call uh, php fpm that's the two container environment we want to build then we move the docker compose file inside docker you can create the docker compose if you don't have it and then we are ready to begin we want to say the version is a uh, 3.7 and we want the service PHP FPM and then we want uh, the NGNX as a service and then we want the build we want to build from the content context sorry uh, should be from PHP FPM so we need to create a docker file inside the, uh, the PHP FPM and then we're going down to the nginx and we want the same here to say nginx so we know everything inside the nginx should be in the nginx folder and then we want the ports from nginx should be 8081 and going inside to the container port 80 and then we want the uh, 8443 and should be going for SSL if you want to play around with this I'm not uh, going inside for this in this video but if you want you can play around with it that's uh, how we're creating the, the compose file so let's continue to the a docker fpm inside here so we docker file and open it, be sure we are inside here and let's type here, say from ng sorry not that, too fast and fpm alpine that means very very small uh, image we use here and then we need to fire the command off php fpm and expose on port 9000 yes because the nginx need to connect with the, this port later then we go in, inside to the nginx create a docker file and we are here and then you say from nginx and that's alpine2 and go into cmd here and say nginx and expose Adian 448 uh, 443 what I mean and that's how it's basically working so let's see about it uh, it will spin up say docker compose up and see how it's working going you need to go inside the docker file here and spin it up and it's need to build the PHP image of course And then it's building the nginx image and then we are good to go i hope the php fpm is still running but the nginx doesn't do this it's because it's running as a daemon so we need to um, avoid this problem i will show you that but first we need to do uh, other stuff before we can do this so let's go back for the editor one more time we need to go inside the docker compose and going down for the nginx and below the ports it doesn't matter where you put it but I normally I put it below the ports or before the builds uh, after the build sorry and then we need to volumes we need to to be sure uh, to put inside a, a source folder here we have it that's the source project and we need to bind it for vv 
and then we need to the configuration from the Docker uh, from the Docker container. We need to put the nginx configuration inside. So let's nginx config. Oops. And we need nginx again. Should be the sites. And then we need the the nginx configuration. Yes, that's the folder. Uh, let's try to see about we can ignore we can go into the nginx here and we need to press command here to ignore the the daemon so let's do this we need to, uh, to add one more here say minus g and then we need to say daemon off and this should be what we need to do before we can rerun this and see about nginx is running nope we have an uh, issue now so let's Fix that. It's because we are linking to the files that doesn't exist, so we need to go back here and nginx conf is not correct. So move this and say nginx con, and then we should have it right now. Let's go for the compose file. We have the file here, and the site, and this one. So that's perfect. And now it should run, but now it's the nginx is uh, totally uh, cleaned up, so it will probably make a mistake one more time. Yes, it do, and that's totally expected. Let's go back to create our nginx uh, config file. The first config file we want to create are um, changes nginx, and I just copy the default configuration here. You can find this configuration file on my uh, github so you don't need to type everything down here you can do it it's up to you and then we save it and we're going inside to a, a conf d and the sites and here we want to create a config files more the first config file we want to create is in the conf d folder and we will call it default and the only thing we want to use here is the upstream and we'll call it the PHP FPM and inside here we want to say the server API sorry uh, PHP FPM 9000 that's the port number and that's what we want to, to do it's internally if we're going back for the service you can see uh, nginx and PHP FPM and it's already know that so when we create it here it's no this is the host name for the container so you don't need to know the ip address so let's go in for the sites and create this whoops what happening here and we call it default and conf again and then we have this and let's fill it out and here i will just copy inside my configuration so it's working and i will explain what happening of course you can go down in my github and yeah and fix it so you can check the configuration file here but what we want to do here is say location and if it's the php file we want to put it to a proxy else we want to keep it in the root uh, the var bbv save it and going back to the, to the upstream here i figure out we have an uh, error and to make it easier for ourselves you can call it the upstream here and going back to to the site uh, to the sites here and the default file and put it here and i think we need to go back for the compose here the nginx yes we need the we have it here 
and we need the same volumes here up in the in the PHP FPM I think else we don't have access so let's try and go in for the terminal and let's spin it up and say Docker compose up and see what happening here uh, PHP FPM should be running now so let's open the browser up and test what's happening when we are in the browser here you can say 8081 and now we can say it's forbidden if you go for the terminal you can see it's having request to the nginx but nothing nothing working so let's go back for the here and we have the HTML folder here so that's I'll try to say index.php and see what's happening php info and here we will say index.html and one here say heat heating your heat nginx and then we go back for the configuration here I want to see something here and then just say index PHP here. Let's restart the services and spin it up again. And go in for the bolt here for bin and see bad gateway. Now we're getting bad gateway, and that's probably because we are hitting uh, something or we are trying to hit something, but we don't get the response. And that will be the next issue to fix before we can close this uh, total environment down. And then make compose up. Now it's uh, up and running, and everything should be uh, good. So let's see about the bad gateway is uh, going away, and now it's uh, empty request. And you can see we are hitting uh, FPM now, and we get succeeds with uh, with it's okay, and uh, then we are hitting the engine X back. So basically hit the FPM server, but it doesn't giving the the request back as we expected. So let's see if we can fix this before we are finished with this movie. I hope you have the uh, uh, the, the passion to, to complete this video with me. Thank you. So let's uh, fix this error. We are going back for the editor to fix it, and we are here on the site and the default. And the reason why it doesn't will display anything, it's because we need more information. I'll just copy this. It's it's a little bit faster. We need to try the files and we need to split the path up and then we need we need three more lines. We need to include the fast CGI params, the script file name and the path information. If you save this and you are sure in your in your Docker Compose you have mounted your folder here. Remember, it's very important to to do this. If you don't do it, it will uh, yeah, it will not working. It will say file not found because you need the your code in, in both directories. So that's very important. So let's kill this, uh, the containers down and spin it up again. And let's go into the browser and let's try to reload it. And now you can see it's working. And if we're going for the HTML index, you can see you hit nginx. So yes, so let's say index.html and see what's happening, not found. So now it's, it's working. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoy that. And I'm very sorry about the mistakes I have hit in, the, in this video, but I really hope you understand what I mean. And I hope you really want to subscribe my channel. You can subscribe in the in the right corner in the below. And in the minute, in this moment, I will install PHP version 7.4. You can of course pick your own version. And I hope if you have any questions, please make them in the comments fields below. I'll try to answer them as fast as I can. And I hope you want to like this video, put it to your playlist, and of course subscribe my channel. Thank you so much for your time. And hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.